the subject of preaching is dedication to the house of God. Acts chapter 2 verse 46 Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 and they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking of bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart the emphasis is daily in the temple verse 47 Praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be saved. Acts chapter 5 verse 42. And daily in the temple and in every house they ceased not to teach and preach Jesus Christ daily in the temple and in every house they ceased not to preach to teach and preach Jesus Christ daily dedication to the house of God our objective of teaching is understanding first is to understand the virtues or the profit of dedication to the house of God and second we want to understand the practical action of dedication to the house of God is there any profit any virtue in being dedicated to the house of God and how do I practically get dedicated to the house of God by way of introduction, it is important to note that one of the hallmarks of dedicated people throughout scripture and even throughout history was their dedication or addiction to the house of God. One way to know a person who is dedicated to God, either in scripture or in history, is that they will be dedicated to the house of God, the church, the temple, the tabernacle. Passion for God is always translated into passion for his house and we are going to look at examples example number one david david was brutally committed to the house of god in psalm 27 verse 4 you hear him he said one thing have I desired of the Lord that will I seek after that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple one thing have I desired that I may dwell in the house of the Lord in Psalm 122 verse 1 he said again I was glad when they said unto me let us go into the house of the Lord I was glad it is a challenge for somebody not to be glad to go to the house of the Lord I was glad and then in Psalm 84 verse 10 he spoke and he said a day in your court is better than a thousand. I would rather be a doorkeeper, a gate man, a security man, 
in the house of my God than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Wonderful. That was David the addicted to the house. Example number two, Joshua. Moses had many people he could have transferred the anointing to, but Joshua was the one who stood out. One of the reasons would be Exodus 33 verse 11. The Bible said, the Lord spake unto Moses face to face, as a man speaketh to his friend. And he turned again into the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, he departed not out of the tabernacle. He, he didn't leave church. There are some of us, people mock at you and they say, do you want to sleep and live inside church? The Bible says concerning Joshua, he departed not from the tabernacle. He departed not. No wonder he attracted the anointing. Example number three, Paul the Apostle. Paul the Apostle, according to scripture, was a man who was doggedly committed to the house of the Lord. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 17 verse 1 to 2. Acts of the Apostles chapter 17 verse 1 to 2. He said, now when they had passed through Amphipolis and Apollonia, they came to Thessalonica where there was a synagogue of the Jews and Paul as his manner was he had a manner as his manner was he went into that synagogue and three Sabbath days he reasoned with them out of scriptures that is Paul had a manner he had a behavior that every town he went into he must look for church as his manner was no wonder he told us in Hebrews chapter 10 verse 25 that we should not forsake the assembling of ourselves together forsaking of the assembling of our of ourselves together as the manner of some is but exhort one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching don't 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 take pleasure in being away from church like the way some people are my own manner is to be in church don't follow the other manner that was paul the apostle example number three so we have seen the example of david and seen the example of joshua and seen the example of paul the apostle then the disciples we already read that in acts of, of the apostles chapter 2 verse 46 and they daily in the temple and from house to house they ate their their bread and then also in acts chapter 5 and in verse 42 we saw the the, the apostles how doggedly they were committed to the house of the lord is god speaking to anybody at all if god is speaking to you here today say loud amen if god is speaking to you say the loudest amen that was the apostles and then somebody will say what about jesus christ ah the master Jesus was rigidly committed. That's our example number five. He was rigidly committed to the house of the Lord even from the age of 12. Do you remember when he was missing one day and his mother was looking for him? He said, don't you know that I should be about my father's business? He was in the temple for three days. Luke chapter 2 verse 46. He said, and it came to pass that after three days they found him in the temple he remained in church three days non-stop sitting in the midst of the doctors both hearing them and asking them questions from the age of 12 jesus was a committed churchman a committed temple person is god speaking to anybody here now if you step further you will look in luke chapter 4 verse 16 he also had a custom. Luke 4, 16. And he came to Nazareth. Where he had been brought up. And as his custom was. He went to the synagogue. See? Paul the apostle as his manner was. Jesus of Nazareth as his custom was. He went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read as his custom was i find it very difficult to understand why people
people put schedules on a Sunday or on a service day, especially on the, 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 the Sunday is the day that is reserved in the New Testament for worship, and then are away from church or away on a trip or away for one thing or the other. So trivial. Am I communicating? Jesus, as his custom was, except he was not in Nazareth, except as his custom was, he went into the synagogue and they gave him the book to read. I think he must have been a lay reader, as they call them. Gave him the book to read and he stood up for to read. Paul had the manner with church. Jesus had the custom with church. What about you? What is your manner? What is your custom? Going further, what are the virtues of the prophet of dedication to the house of, of the Lord? Do we only go to church to fulfill religious obligations? Is it just to mark present? Is it just to say I was in church? No. I look at seven or so things that we can experience as we go to church. Number one, the house of God is the place of divine encounters. It is the place of divine encounters. The place of supernatural encounters. It is the place where we can encounter the almighty. And we can also encounter angels. They happen naturally in the house. There are so many times here in this church. While we are praying and ministering. Somebody just had an encounter. At times he saw this and saw that and something happened. If you look at Jacob. Jacob had a life-changing encounter, a destiny-molding encounter in the place he called Bethel. Genesis chapter 28, verse 12 to 13. Genesis 28. He dreamed a dream, and behold, a ladder set up to the earth, and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest to thee. Will I give it unto thy seed? Jump to verse 16. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, 16 to 17, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place? This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. So the house of God is the place where you have entered encounters with God is the place where you have angelic encounters visionary encounters divine encounters is God speaking to somebody here